nothing but fishing thing. Morning. It's uh, 23 minutes past five on the 13th of May. Uh, as you saw from the intro, a very early start. The alarm went off at 20 past four this morning. That was an early one. Um, but yeah, I'm here at the lake. Uh, quite a few fish have been coming out of here recently. Um, the last session I did was Monday and I was on Withy doing surface fishing, um, getting sunburnt. Today isn't going to be as hot, it's going to be 13 degrees tops, overcast, um, but it's, it's looking perfect. Um, and every time I'm coming up here it looks more and more summery. All the blossoms come up, the trees are full, and it just looks lovely. Um, I'm here until probably about 5 the latest. Uh, I've got to go home, I've got a photography job in the evening, which was very last minute, you would have saw on Facebook. Um, so yeah, just here for the day. Quite a lot of fish have been coming out in the day, so I don't feel like I'm going to be missing out too much by missing the evening. But I've chosen peg eight, which is the one right of where I was fishing last time I was up here. I got the same bush, but only this time it's to my left, um, and then a bit of open water. Um, just because I've been tipped off by a stew, but quite a few fish have been coming out more this end of the lake from peg 8 up to about 13 I think it was. So I'm sticking to peg 8 um, just because I like this bush because that's the first time I've ever actually had a pickup up here. Uh, so yeah, I'm feeling confident and it'll be the first session I've done up here on both helicopter setups which is what I started on uh, last session on air. Um, had quite a few fish on that sheer water so I know the rigs work and the setup works. Um, so yeah, stop rambling, get the rods out, and hopefully have something to do. I don't believe this. Um, always set up your net first, that's what I try to do anyway. Uh, just gone to get my net out, and uh, got the handle, but the net itself is still drying in the garage. <sighs> Alright. I'll see you in about an hour. Never get the feeling of deja vu. Back with my net. This time, let's get some rods in. Then. I'm a lot calmer now. <laughs> um, what an irritating start to the day. Got here, 20 past five in the morning. Forgot the net. 40 minute round trip, and finally back. Um, rods are out. I got the left rod just down in the bush. Um, that's on double pop-up corn with shot on the hair. That's what I had to pick up last time from the same bush, so hopefully uh, I'll hook up to one this time. And the right rod I've put out mid-water, um, critically balanced bottom bait, I might show you later, I've bought the new well, the Nash drill, um, to the kettle off. Um, drill bit and the foam, so that's critically balanced, slightly trimmed, so it's just a lot lighter than uh, uh, all the other baits that are out there without the use of pop-up corn, um, so it looks more natural but then again, it floats a bit more, so it's kind of the first one that's gonna go into the fish's mouth. That's the idea. Um, and that's got a few boilies just around it. So yeah, rods are out, let's say. And uh, cup of tea time. Beautiful morning, sun's up. It's uh, not gonna be that nice of day, but at the moment, it's looking lovely. 
Um, had a couple of touches on the right rod already. Um, so I'm feeling quite confident here for uh, up until mid-afternoon. So uh, yeah, hopefully that's enough time to have one. Before I cast back out, I'm just going to show you what I was done about earlier with the critical balancing. Uh, here it is. It's the Nash TT critical balancing kit, 5mm foam. Um, and basically, what you do, you get the drill bit first and the boiler you want to use, and just get it in the centre, like so, and just start drilling in. You don't need to go too far, well, it's up to you how much you want to do. I've gone in probably about a centimetre. You pop that bit out. It's got a little plunger which pushes out the uh, bit you don't need. Then you get your foam. I'm using white foam on this because when this bait's washed out, white's the closest colour. You push the foam in until it won't go any further. And this is where you need to be prepared when you're doing a little film. You need your scissors. So once you've trimmed it, you put the foam in, you just cut it off with the excess. Put that to one side, and there you have quickly balanced bait. That's all you need to do. Uh, what I'm going to do then is obviously just put the bait needle through it. If I can. There we go. And I'm going to put on a KD rig this time. Changing over from the double pop-up corn, and uh, put it there. I've got the foam hook side, so that the hook goes in first, basically. There we go. Bait up in. Just like you would any other bait. Put it tight. And there we go. A simple rig, but well, that's what a lot of fish are caught on up here. So uh, you got the pop-up, well, the foam, this side on the hair, goes to the hook. So when a fish picks it up, basically. The top end is more buoyant, that brings the hook up with it. Rather than the bait going first, then the hook, the hook kind of goes in with the bait at the same time. And that's the idea of it. I'm going to put that on the helicopter setup, on the left rod, put it down in the bush. Right, well, probably about 20 minutes ago now, uh, the bloke down the uh, further down the bank from me. Um, just had exactly the same fish that Gary had last session I was here. So uh, what are the chances that two sessions that I'm on here, the same fish comes out and I get it on camera? Uh, two ounces smaller than uh, Gary had it, but uh, such a nice looking fish. Um, so yeah, fair play to him. And uh, he had that one within minutes of putting his rods out. So I wish it was that quick for me, but oh well. Um, back in my swim since I went up and saw it. Uh, I've now got the right rod in the right margin and the left rod still on that bush instead of fishing mid-water. Um, so, I don't know, that's where I'm fishing. Like I show, so showed you, the uh, left rod is now a KD rig, critically balanced, uh, and the right rod also critically balanced, but that's just a normal setup on that one. Um, just had a fish roll about five or six times, a couple of swims down from me, mid-water. Um, I think I got it on camera just about, uh, but it's a bit in the distance. But uh, it's the first fish I've seen, other than the one that you caught, obviously, first fish I've seen in the lake itself uh, all day. So it's not been much action. I mean, we've had warm weather recently, but the last few days have been cold. I mean, today it's probably about 11 degrees, um, so it's 
not warm at all and the wind's pushing across which isn't a very warm wind either. So it's like we're back to square one, we have a couple of days of nice weather and uh, back to cold again. It's meant to be cold all week as well. So these fish must be getting so messed up in the head with all the temperature changes, weather changes, so, but never mind. Hopefully the water temperature won't change too much today um, and I'll have something because a lot of fish have been coming out recently. So. Just let it be me. Just shy of 31. Fair play. Can you grab the camera, try and get it on there? Yeah. What, did you just lift straight off or should I lift it on the whole? Uh, take, there's a little clip on the... pounds, 14 ounces, it's a new PBE, first 30 for me. Fair play. I've been here all day, you took up half the way through. You want to have this? You've been having a good run there, haven't you? Yeah, I've had a few fish out lately. Um, just seems to be working, light scatter of oilies. And that's pretty much it, really. Just trying fish. to find a fish. Well done, mate. Let's get you some pictures. Once again, another blank. Um, I'm going to start packing up now, bring everything in, go home. Um, I would have stayed on, but like I said before, I've uh, got a job this evening. So uh, things are going to start winding in. There's nothing to report. I have no touches or anything. A few fish showed, but that's about it. So um, another blank. Cheers for watching anyway. I'll see you again soon.